be sure to remember that if you have any questions regarding the lesson, please go to raise your hand. I check it at least three times a day. I am me, K-mail me, and be sure to add your course name and section number like 202B section 1 or 202B section 2. And call me. What we're going to learn in this lesson is to define prism and the parts of a prism. We're going to classify prisms. We're going to solve problems that involve the diagonal of a right prism. Here are some of the new terms. The base area of a prism, diagonal of a polyhedron, lateral edge, lateral face, oblique prism, a prism, and a right prism. Okay, be sure to know all those terms. We're going to get started with just prisms. A prism is a polyhedron with two parallel congruent faces called bases. So you can see here in this rectangular prism, I've highlighted this pink and it's parallel with this side. So the left and right sides are the bases and they're parallel and congruent. If you look here, I've got a hexagon, hexagonal prism. This highlighted yellow is the hexagon and here's its congruent parallel base. Same with this pentagonal prism down here. Uh, the other faces, the, not the bases, the other faces are called lateral faces and they're always uh, I'm going to change this right here. I meant to change it before I did this slide and completely forgot. I'm fixing it right now. Parallelograms. Okay, if you're dealing with a um, right prism, they are rectangles. But when you deal with oblique prisms, they're parallelograms. So no matter what kind of prism you're dealing with, all of the lateral faces are parallelograms. Okay? Now, prisms are classified by the shape of their bases. And I don't know if you notice that, this pink area, that's a rectangle, so this is a rectangular prism. This yellow area is a hexagon, so this is a hexagonal prism. This orange area down here is a pentagon, so we got a pentagonal prism. right and oblique prisms. A right, the bases are perpendicular to lateral edges and lateral edges are rectangles. And that, an example of that would be buildings that you see in downtown areas or any building. I just think of the high rises. An oblique is any other kind of prism. So if you look right here, this is a right prism, this yellow one, prism A. And if you look, all of the lateral edges are perpendicular. Okay, so this is perpendicular, this is perpendicular, and so on. Now if you look at an oblique, it's always slanted, like the Leaning Tower of Pisa. They're always slanting, okay? And this is a good way to show you that, yes, all right prisms, the lateral faces are rectangles, but when you include oblique prisms, all of these lateral faces are called parallelograms. Okay, parallelograms. Now, a diagonal of a polyhedron is a line segment that joins two vertices that are in different faces. Okay, so look right here. We've got this red dashed line starting down here in this corner, and it travels up diagonally to an opposite corner. Okay, so that's the diagonal of a polyhedron. And um, to determine the length of that diagonal, you use this formula right here. Okay, it's going to D is for distance or diagonal. Square root of the length squared plus the width squared plus the height squared. I really thought we went through and worked out that problem. Oops, sorry, but I guess we didn't. We're going to work one, don't worry about that. What are the sides of prisms called? What are the sides of a prism called? I believe if we're talking about sides, not bases, we're talking about lateral faces. There we go. Okay, when we're talking about the sides of a prism, we're not talking about the bases. We're talking about those uh, rectangular or parallelogram shaped 
lateral faces. What type of prism would have a triangular base? Okay, remember we name prisms by the shape of their base. So if it has a triangular base, then it's going to be a triangular prism. What type of prism has some lateral faces that are not perpendicular to its bases? Now remember, if all of the faces are perpendicular to the base, you're going to have a right prism. So if they're not perpendicular, you'll have an oblique prism. That means it's leaning one way or the other. It says name each figure name each figure and classify it as right or oblique. I don't believe in these answers. I actually named them. I just said they were right or oblique. But let's go ahead and look at this. These are all rectangles. Okay, the base is what we're looking at. The base is rectangle. So this is going to be a rectangular prism and it's going to be oblique because the lateral faces are not perpendicular to the base. There you go, oblique. Oh, this one is also a rectangular prism because if you look at these bases, they're rectangles. So that makes it a rectangular prism. Now look here, and they even put the little squares here to show us. All of the lateral faces are perpendicular, so that's going to make it a right prism. Okay, if a right rectangular prism has a length measuring 14 feet, a width measuring 3 feet and a height measuring 5 feet. What is the length of the space diagonal? Okay, the space diagonal is that diagonal we were talking about, going from one corner to the other on the opposite side. Okay, what I like to always do when I've got these kind of problems, I like to go ahead and draw it out. I always draw it out. Look how I got my space diagonal. It's going from this corner in the front to this corner at the top and the back back here. So that's what makes it the diagonal. And I was trying out some of my writing techniques. I just cannot write with this bamboo pad. So but here's what I wrote. 14 feet for the length, 3 feet uh, for the width, and 5 feet for the height. Now remember, here's your formula. Okay? You're going to take your length squared plus your width squared plus your height squared and then you're going to find the square root of that uh, sum. So first we're just going to plug in our numbers for the length, width, and height and then we're going to square each one of them. So 14 squared is 196, 3 squared is 9, 5 squared is 25. The sum of those is 230. So now we have to find the square root. Ooh, and look what happened. We got a squiggly equal sign instead of a straight one. What that means is that the square root, uh, or 230, is not a perfect square. So that means we had to throw a decimal in there. Once you throw a decimal in there, it becomes an approximation. So the diagonal doesn't equal 15.17. It's approximately 15.17. Uh, feet. When would the lateral surfaces of a prism be squares? Ooh. I would say when it's a cube, but let's see what we got going here. Oh! The oh, okay, I see what it's saying. The lateral surfaces of, of a prism are squares if the prism is a right prism. The bases are regular polygons and the height of the prism is the same as the length of the side of the bases, which it's all still a cube. Okay, it says refer to the figure representing a room. What type of diagonal is HF? Well, here I go. I like to draw my stuff here. Okay, looks like to me HF is just a regular diagonal of a rectangle. So let's see what the answer is. Oh, it's a face diagonal. All right, so it's the diagonal of the of the bottom face. Okay. 
Well, this one I just stuck the answer right up there. What is the length of segment HF? Oh, I know what I did. Well, if I got triangle HF, uh, HGF, so let me see, H. Okay, it says that right there is a triangle. I'm wanting to find the length of segment HF. Okay, I know that this is a, it's a room and it's a rectangular prism. And I know you can't really tell it in this picture, but this angle G right here is 90 degrees. And I know that because it's a rectangular prism, because it's a room, okay? So G is a right angle. Whenever you have right angles, you can use the Pythagorean theorem. Remember the Pythagorean theorem, we can say A squared plus B squared equals C squared, and C is actually gonna be our HF here. So let's see, I think I put the formula. There we go. 20 squared plus 15 squared equals HF squared. Now let's work that out. 400 plus 225, and you know what? I don't know why they put HC right here. That should be HF. So don't let, here, let me write over that. Let me put it in red. And I'm gonna change this so we'll actually be able to see it. And I'm going to put HF there. Oops. Still wasn't large enough, but y'all got the idea. Y'all understand that I'm changing that. There we go. And you know what? While I got that there, I'm going to copy. Okay, so all we have to do is add those two together. Oh, that didn't work the way I wanted it to. That sure did. So 625 is HF squared. And then, oh, we go here. I'm not gonna change all of those to HFs. So I think y'all got the idea, but I am gonna change this bottom one. So the distance of HF is 25 feet. What type of diagonal is HC? I just went ahead and wrote it. In that one question, we called it a space diagonal, uh, but it can also be called the body diagonal. And then right here is what we're talking about, H to C. When you go from one corner to the opposite corner, It says, what is the length, or, yeah, what is the length of segment HC and round your answer to the nearest hundredth? Okay, since it's a space diagonal, we're going to have to use that formula I showed you, that the diagonal equals L squared plus W, or square root of L squared plus W squared plus H squared. So you're going to plug in those numbers, and here, let's go ahead and put this there's the diagonal we're looking for. You have to take your length. Let's change some colors here. I'm going to be taking my length and squaring it, which is 20 feet. Be taking my width and squaring it, which is 15 feet. And then my height. Okay. And I'm going to square all of those. And I get 400 plus 225 plus 100 add those together I get 725 and when you take the square root of 725 you're going to get that squiggly equal sign again okay it's approximately 26.93 feet from point H to point C the space diagonal okay here's a summary of what we've learned today that a prism is a polyhedron that has two parallel congruent faces called bases and sides that are called lateral faces, and a prism is named by the shape of its bases. The lateral faces are parallelograms formed by parallel segments that connect corresponding vertices of bases. You're learning all these big words. 
The parallel segments are called the lateral edges. The points of intersection of the lateral edges are vertices of the prism. A right prism has lateral faces that are perpendicular to its bases. All the lateral faces of a right prism are rectangles. An oblique prism has lateral faces that are not perpendicular to its bases.